why do we eat variety of food why can't we just eat our favorite food all the time water is a food we survive on water alone let us find answers to some of these questions in this video we learned in our earlier videos that food helps us grow build muscle provide energy for physical activities like playing and learning food also repairs and maintains our body continuously you see our body has different different requirements and these different requirement of our body is met by different components of the food some component helps the body grow some component provides energy some component repairs and maintains some other component is responsible for muscle building this special component of food that is is called nutrient so what are nutrients nutrients are these special components in food which is responsible for the growth to, to provide energy repair and maintain the body and build muscles now let us see some of these nutrients carbohydrate is a nutrient protein is another nutrient fat is another nutrient vitamin is another nutrient and mineral is another nutrient you see carbohydrate proteins and fat these are required by our body in large quantities and hence they are known as macro nutrients macro meaning large whereas vitamins and minerals are required by our body in small quantities and hence they are known as micronutrients the term micro means small we'll discuss more about these nutrients in detail in the upcoming videos why they are called micronutrients why they are called macronutrients why are they required in large quantities why some of them are required in small quantities see now these carbohydrate protein fats and vitamins and minerals come from food but some food has large amount of carbohydrate in it for example rice rice contains large amount of carbohydrates and hence rice is termed as or any food that contains large amount of carbohydrate is known as carbohydrate rich food an example of protein or major source of protein is from pulses hence pulses are known as protein rich food if you see fat majority of the fat that our body requires come from oil or oil is a fat rich food similarly fruits contains large amount of vitamins that are required essential vitamins that are required by our body and fruits are classified or called as vitamin rich food and salt that we use in our daily life is a major source of minerals and hence salt is a mineral rich food now you see the food here rice pulse oil fruit and salad has been in a way classified into carbohydrate rich protein rich fat rich vitamin rich and mineral rich earlier we have seen that the food has been classified based on its source as animal based plant based or other sources of food here this is another type of classification based on the component of the food called nutrients we can group these food into carbohydrate rich protein rich fat rich vitamin rich and mineral rich this is the classification or grouping of food based on nutrient source so we now know that nutrients are special components or essential components in food that helps our body grow provide energy build muscle repair and maintain our body some of the nutrients that we discussed are carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals and based on the amount of the nutrient present in the food item the food has been grouped into carbohydrate rich protein rich fat rich vitamin rich and mineral rich now it is very clear why we will have we need to have variety of food in our diet we cannot just survive with rice alone we cannot just survive with fruits alone water just alone is not enough because it will not meet the requirements of our body or it will not meet the nutritional requirement of our body 